Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we created a pose video we're going to use today to animate using Animate Anyone. So let's get started. We're going to do the load video VHS upload and we're going to use the video I created last time. There you go. I'm going to upscale this image, join that to there. Right, we're going to create it. Width is 512, that's fine. Animate Anyone is trained on an image that's 512 wide, 768 deep or high. And we're going to load a pose guide here. And we're going to put the image here. And we need to load a pose guider. Animate anyone, as you can see. We're going to use the default weights and join that up there. So we've got this and we've got this. Now we need to animate anyone sampler. Join the latent to the latent. I'm going to keep the seed as normal. Everything looks okay. Don't worry about this. We're not going to use this. Yeah, that looks good. So we need a, so we need an image that we're going to animate. Load image. Load image. So I could use this. I'm going to upscale. Just going to copy this because we're just going to use the same features, same parameters, I should say. Clip vision encode here. We're going to join this to this and this to this. Okay, so we need a clip vision. We we'll do load clip vision and join this up to there. I'm going to use the high torch bin because that's what animate anyone recommends. Well, that's in the sample image. BAE encode. I'm going to join this to this and load VAE over here. Is that the animate anyone PyTorch? Diffusion PyTorch. Yep, so there you go there. And we're going to join this to this. So we've got this over here, is separate to this, and this over there, which is separate to that. Now we'll need a denoising unit and a reference unit. So load unit 3D and 2D. We've got 2D here, load unit and a 3D here. We're going to join this one to this, and we're going to join this one to this. These are normal weights. They're the ones in the Animate Anyone workflow. So we're going to use these unless you've got your own tr uh, trained weights and you want to use them you can do that you click on there you can see what they are they are uh, it's a path for that one and the model path is for that one and it's a um, .pth file same with this the .pth file above there you've got a .pth file and that is the path so once you've got that you got your latent we want a vae decode to there and uh, where's our vae loader up there so we're going to join this to this and here video combine yeah to there and we're going to use a save image extended over here so this is going to generate a video 30 frames per second animate diff uh, call it uh pose to video and we're going to make that into h264 10 le that's fine everything looks good give that any name you like but here depending on the size of your video for example this this depending on the size of the video and depending on how much vram you have this is a good idea so i'm going to call this pose to video images and change this pose to video images there you go and so now when i run this it's going to take each frame from this and animate this guy here uh, i'm not going to do the full whack because i might not have uh, enough video ram so we're going to skip zero do a hundred so it's going to do this and q prompt this is what it's going to do using 20 steps here so it's going to take you can find out how long roughly it's going to take after it does the first step so about 20 uh, so 10 minutes or 100 frames so you got 100 frames there so the model is trained the animate anyone pytorch i guess is trained for 512 by 768 this video is widescreen you want to change it to 512 by 768 otherwise you get corrupted output and this image usually doesn't matter because you're upscaling it or downscaling it to 512 768 and it's just going to take whatever's in in that that took uh it's still not finished that took 10 minutes and 50 seconds to do 100 frames and that's the video we got from it that's my logo and it's converted it into a video so now we've done the first 100 frames with 16 gigabyte of vram i can do roughly 250 frames per go 
Uh, this this one is 324 frames. So I can skip the first 100 because I've already done that. And take that to zero and it'll do the rest. So here it's got every frame. And when it saves it in the folder, zero, zero, one to 100. So when I run it from skipping 100, it's going to start at 101 and carry on till the end of the video. So let's run this. This time it's going to take a bit more than 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Here it says 9 minutes and 50 seconds because it was just that a sampler process. Animate anyone sampler process that took 9 minutes 50 seconds. The rest of the workflow took about a minute. That took just under 24 minutes. If I zoom in here, you can see all the 223 frames that it created. There's the rest of the video. If your video is already 512 by 768, then you can bypass the upscale image. Same for the image file as well. You can mess about with the settings for the animate anyone sampler to fine tune the output for your use case. In part three, we will take these images and increase the detail for a better quality output. Like always, links in the description for the workflow and GitHub repositories for the nodes used in this video. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more.